Salutations, and welcome to episode 12 of the Quest Company. My name is Zara, and I'm a skilled, trained healing cleric and a powerful elf unlike any you've ever seen before. Well, uh, I guess I should say unlike any I have ever seen before, since I've never seen an actual elf in my life. Uh, You see, I was raised in a very sheltered, secluded forest by my adopted mother, a gnome paladin, Galliana, or I would call her Mama G. See, I was dropped on Mama G's doorstep as a baby, and she believed it was her duty by the gods to raise me and train me to be a great warrior and healer. We had a good, quiet life together, which sadly recently ended as Mama G died this year. Before she passed, she was tormented by dreams and was going mad. She kept telling me there was more I needed to know, and I needed to find a letter, and after tearing the house apart, I finally found it, but it was too late. She was gone. And now my life is riddled with questions. What is so important about this letter? And and why didn't she tell me about it sooner? And the worst part of all, no matter how hard I try, I can't open it. So my mission is to open this letter and find out who I truly am. Tabitha was abandoned by both her parents when she was just a baby. She grew up alone, but was somehow always taken care of. She learned how to make weapons for herself and trained herself for protection. When she was 16, she killed the leader of the town, Crestport, and most of his forces. And no one knows why she killed him. But for that, she spent eight years isolated in prison. I am Frank. Bony, lacking flesh, a harbor for foreign moss. A simple skeleton. My death should come as no surprise, seeing as that I am no longer alive, but it happened and it was wet. My father, Ralph, he let me call him Ralph, taught me the secrets of the seas. Well, not all of the seas, mostly the hundred mile radius around our hometown of Bankland. When I was a teenager, this was back when I had skin and whatnot, my father, Ralph, he was a a bounty hunter or something. I could never find out for sure. He just disappeared from the ship that I was on, and that turned into a whole ordeal. Some people in Bankland, more specifically a bastard by the name of Salty Jim, wondered out loudly how the hell such a seasoned sailor can end up just up and vanish. And so he was paying my father or something for deeds, and he wasn't happy at the loss, so he blamed Ralph's death on me. And if you must really know, I was put in prison with this wizard dude guy named Mike. <clears throat> but he preferred to be called old Mike. Mike saw something in me, or, or what the what, and gave me his wizard book which I used to kill Salty Jim's entire crew. As you can imagine, Salty Jim was not a big fan of this turn of events. And he tried to kill me. Well, kill is such a big word. Let's say he tried to dis- dispose of me with a certain length of chain. So while my body drowned out in the sea, my me was still alive for some reason. And I just followed the dark sea for a while walking along the bedrock until time no longer existed, and fish had just ripped and torn at my body until I was nothing more than a few clumps of meat stuck on some stubborn bones. I came across an island at one point, free of any trees or life, and I sat there, waiting for my bones to dry and my soul to leave this corporeal plane, but my bones simply never ceased dripping, and moss began to grow in places. So I took this as a challenge. A second chance for vengeance, a return, an opportunity, rare and incredible. I knew at that moment, at that precise moment, that I would destroy the Salty Jim, that mongoloid fuck, that literal bastard, even if it cost me my soul. Hello. My name is Rourke Blackwater. I was born on my mother's ship, the Devil's Maiden, seven years after she became Pirate Queen. I only ever heard rumors and whispers of how my mother gained her title. I grew up on the ship, learning from an early age the ways of the sea and of piracy. Never knew my father and was never told much about him. As I grew up, I trained extensively in fighting with two blades and became quite the expert swordsman. I was always well-liked by the crew, even more so than my mother, who they thought at times could be cruel and unfair to them. When I was close to coming of age, there was secret talk amongst the crew of me perhaps taking over for her. I'd begun to be a part of our planning and war council and shown myself to be a fearless fighter and a natural leader. The last few raids we went on in which my ideas were ignored hadn't gone well, and the crew wasn't happy. Once she caught wind of this potential mutiny, she was enraged and decided to squash it by marooning me on a remote island, bound, gagged, and blindfolded. 
By the time I was able to free myself, the Devil's Maiden was long gone. I was on the island for weeks, living off what edible vegetation I could find and spearfishing in a nearby reef. One day, a small fishing boat happened to pass by and saw my smoke signals calling for help. Despite them being terrified by my appearance once they were close enough to get a good look at me, I convinced them to give me safe passage back to the mainland. That was five years ago. Since then, I've found work as a bounty hunter and mercenary, mostly for coastal law enforcement. I hunt pirates. Not because I have a strong desire to bring them to justice, but because I'm looking for a way to find my mother. With every pirate I capture, it's one more clue, one step closer to catching up with her. When I track her down, I will kill her, and I will claim the Devil's Maiden as my own. Previously on Critic Adventure, the Quest Company, I am... You catch out of the corner of your eye, Zara, up near this large skeleton, uh-huh. uh, and you see her reaching out with something. Huh? Suddenly, the shoes hits the floor. You come to a fork in the road. <laughs> oh, Did where's you... this sound coming from? Because uh, I don't Go hear anything. Ah, oh, shit, there's a body in here. What's it look like? Sweet, you do. Uh, you there. instantly recognize this as Samuel. Did you guys kill him? No. Rourke kind of dropped him on his head. What if I could help you? Help me with what? Being stronger. I'm pretty strong already. I mean... <laughs> right, well, I'm pretty sure that that, and I point at the wall, is the winged tyrant. Right. Sweet. As you peek over, you just see uh, this green fog that's just churning in the bottom of this cauldron. Mm-hmm. Well, great. Well, how about we take them to one of those rooms with all the beds, just to set up somewhere, you know, not on the floor. Great. Um, I'm going to go to bed. All right, I will go to sleep as well. Are you just signing our page by the flip of a coin? Always. Nice. Sounds about right. All but one more red. Um. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> anywho. So, uh, you guys are going for a long rest? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. You, uh, sleep through the whatever time it is at this point. Mm-hmm. Um. And awake. In your beds. I immediately check on Zara. Cool. Zara? Time out. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Zara and Frank. Mm-hmm. Yes? You both come to consciousness at about the same time. It's not necessarily consciousness. You just... The darkness that's over your eyes starts to, like, cloud away. Okay. And you're feeling like you can move. Zara. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> can't really move. Yeah? Something's wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> uh, both of you guys make perception. So are they awake? Uh, do we all wake at the same time? Twenty-one perception. That would be convenient. Yes. Okay. Oh, great. So we did we get that long rest, Andrew, or no? Okay. I'll let you know in a sec. Okay. Twenty-one perception. perception. Brooke. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Um, okay. Uh, both of you guys, in your last hours of sleep, hear something that stirs you to awakeness. Mm -hmm. Uh, It sounded like Frank's voice. Hey! Frank! Hey, Frank! Are you up too? Am I up? Yeah, you've also been breathing normally this whole time. I know, but I haven't taken off my mask since I puked. So I woke up with a mouthful of puke. Oh, God. (laughs) Okay, Samuel? (laughs) Dang well, Samuel? I, I Samuel? 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 seems to be out still. <gasps> I go over to Frank. Yeah. Can you help? Um, is, is his Frank? mouth moving? Yep. Frank. I, I pick on the ground. We I have... pick up his skull. Hey, hey, buddy, what are you doing on the ground? Oh, I, I don't know. We have bad news, Frank. Um, <laughs> yeah? When you pass out... I turn his face to look at her. Oh, sh- Shit. You kind of disassembled. Oh, I thought so. That makes sense. I point his face at his body. But I felt like something weird happened. Should we put you together? Do you know how? Do we... 
Yeah, we can remember what happened last time. We needed George. <laughs> I remember what I'm happened gonna, last time. Sorry, are you good at putting back together bodies? <laughs> I'm like cleaning up my face, and I sweet. It's nasty. Oh, I rolled for that. Oh. Oh. Should we? Can I try to put him back together? Yeah, go ahead and make yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. Zarya, do you know? Best. Do you know about bodies, Zarya? Eighteen. Do. Um, no, not okay, very much. Okay, don't know about bodies. No. Nothing in your past. Itself. I think I'm an elf, dude. That's so something to know about were, bodies. You were, were you rolling medicine? Yeah, I no. got um a, 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 a nine. Yeah, I okay. got that. I got that good, good. Uh, T- wait, t- yeah, t- seven, should I roll as two? Well? Sorry. No. No. Self awareness. Okay. You can't do much yet. Well, we can if if it's bad, we can let you uh figure it out. Re uh reassemble once you've assembled to where you can maybe assemble yourself. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> but stressed nonetheless. Um <laughs> flip flop and flip flop. Flip flop and flip flop. Uh, <laughs> Tabitha, you remembering very well the last time and having watched George put him together as well, trying to understand kind of Frank's composition. Uh you're able to put him back together. Uh, I just put on the penis bone. Rourke is a bit more of a uh, uh, liability as he's kind of handing you the wrong bone at the Rourke. wrong time <laughs> and keeps being really excited about shoving the penis bone on. Rourke. But it's like not ready to go on yet. And he's well, like, I got the penis bone. Rourke. We know where that goes. You think you know where that goes. That's where it's been the whole time. <laughs> That's a fucking rib bone. Right, but it's always been there. You know, I don't, I don't really want a penis bone right now, okay? Just put me back together. Um, okay. Whatever sorry. you want. It's your body. You're, you're a little bit better at helping with, like, okay. here, take this this hand, since you're right. working on arms right now, and not the penis. Um, it takes about an hour, but you put Frank back together, oh. and Frank, you're able to move around. Ah. Welcome back. How's it feel? Thanks. Feels great. Now, Tabitha, did you steal my arrow? I check my body for my arrow. Sweet, you find it. Okay. <laughs> Are you shitting me? I just, just want to make sure. First Rourke and then you. Hi, nice to see you. Oh, Glad nice to see you. Dead, you tried to Frank. murder me. I, I did am, it we one are, time. Oh, time. You know how this conversation ends, okay? <laughs> it ends with you in the wrong because you tried to murder me. There is because no, there is no way that you can try to justify that type of thing. Right, because so they asked it? you for an arrow to shoot to kill something. Oh, great. That, oh, yeah. Oh, you didn't kills. know that you would need Did it. Did we all forget that? There's no reason for you to take it. So, there was no reason you for you to need to kill me. I could have easily taken that arrow while you were dead, and I didn't because well, I, I consider you my friend. How would I know that? Because you tried it before. You, you tried it. it before. I did it one time. Have I stolen Fool me things? once. Shame on you. <laughs> Fool me twice. Shame on you again because I hate you, Tabitha. <laughs> oh. Don't oh. try to do these things anymore. I'm walking out of the room. Oh, okay. Okay. He's out of the room. No, I'm think, out of the room. Okay. I think we all just need going, to simmer down a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Live in the present. Live in the present. Live in the present. <laughs> right. Go out and go. chase Tabitha. Right. Tabitha. We're past, yeah. yeah, go. What go. break? Tabitha, I'm sorry, okay? Hate is a strong word. Love is also a strong word. I didn't say I. Okay, you. I didn't say I'm asking you. I love you. I just said don't. You love me? No. You. <laughs> I'm a skeleton, Tabitha. Okay. We're just friends. Okay, Frank. we're friends. Okay. We're good. We're, okay, okay, okay. Love, okay. Live in the present. All right. right. The less is more. Give me a bone. You know. then. Give me you a bone. We're just kidding. You <laughs> got to be kidding me, Tabitha. <laughs> while, while they're while they're out there. While they're out there doing that, I, I I look at Zara and I pull out the letter and I say, "What is this?" Where did you snatch it out of his hand? Go ahead and make a uh, contested contested dex. Oh, I'm gonna fucking get that letter. <laughs> Ooh, do we add anything or no? You had your dex modifier. Okay. So funny. Nine. Eight. <laughs> you just barely snag it from Roy. Where did you? Put? I pulled it off of you because you touched the thing outside with it. What the hell was that? I wanted to know what that thing was. Right, but so why did you touch it with are we that? Back in the room now? What is that? Yeah, and why won't it open? Can you guys have walked back in now? What are we talking about? Is there something you're not telling us? No. Yeah, she's a fucking bird or oh something. Oh my gosh. Okay, look, look, look. Mm-hmm. This is a letter. I've never been able to open it. I thought maybe since I have wings From now, who? apparently, and that guy wait. had wings. Wait, wait, wait. And... From who? Wait, you've had this whole. Oh, this feels like it's something that would be pertinent. Yeah, I asked you about your like backstory and everything lied. before. Why did you not bring this up? I was a little flustered. I almost died. 
Look, I okay. trust you less and less every time. Every you look time, <laughs> every time. Who's it from? I don't know. I was giving it to. You're opening a letter from someone you don't know. Well, my it's a letter? my mother gave it to me. Oh, why don't you just it. tear this it is such open? It's a sob story. It's a piece oh, of paper. I don't why don't you just what tear you it? Think about my backstory, Tabitha. <laughs> I'm just saying this seems ridiculous that you touched up skeleton okay, okay, with guys, a letter. Okay, Okay. In defense of the tearing <laughs> thing, I tried to open it. It won't do that. But now, look. How old are you? Because that thing is ancient. How the how long have you been around? I'm 84 years old. Well, that's not elf quite ancient. Elf years. Elf years. I'm a young elf. Nah, Samuel's gonna be grave digging. Wait. What? Who is Samuel? Nothing. Nothing. I may try to make a joke. It went off bad. <laughs> I look at Samuel. <laughs> Samuel's not moving. I check his pulse. Who is it's that guy? Where there. is he from? You missed while you were asleep that Rourke. Thinking we should all touch the skeleton and fall dead, presumably, pushed this random sad man onto it. No, I was. I pushed Puby onto it. I was on the floor. I could hear everything that that you guys were doing. What? Yeah. Guys being idiots. Uh, Frank, I know we just. Living the president. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) This is war. Living the president. Regardless, (laughs) I only pushed him into it after I knew that. Well, after I knew that Zara was still breathing. Yeah, I was okay. just kind of hoping you were still alive. Um, yeah, but he's still out, so that's weird. I slap his face a little bit. No, Maybe I... it's because he went down um, later than me and... I don't hurt him. Yeah. Well, I, um, I'm still on the leave him behind train. Anybody else? Should we vote on, on this? I did kind of tell him Zara was a whore. What? Ah. Mm, okay. That's true. Let's yeah. to a vote. Let's say who wants to leave Wait, Samuel. Wait, hold on. Let me explain I myself. want to leave Samuel. I want to leave Samuel. I want to leave Samuel. Warwick? Let's leave him. Rug, do you want to break this tie? Solely because I feel kind of <laughs> shitty for pushing him into the skeleton thing. Ah. Solely because I feel shitty mm. about that. A little bit. And Just the, a little bit. And the onions and rum. What? The Were you awake for that? No, I wasn't. But I could hear it all. All of it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so could I. Well, why the hell couldn't you guys do anything then? So you already know he I didn't know we were talking to you all the it's time. It's about like, oh, Wait. I tried. Wait, what did you see when yeah, you were asleep? Yeah, did anything happen while happened? you guys were out? I That that bird dude started talking to me. Yeah, we met me Isaac. Oh, what? He made no. me an offer. No, we met Isaac or. Isaac or whatever. Wait. No, so hold on. with the hold freaky on. voice. What, do I remember if it's the same voice as the, like, vulture looking thing? Yeah, his was. It was the same fucker that was, like, That's talking bonus. to Margaret. Right, 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 right. Okay, so. Oh, so, well, I meant Isaac Orr, so well, okay. we had different people. Can we please we did? story time, please? Yeah. Frank? Um, he was like, hey, I can make you super powerful. And I was like, well, um, wh- what's the bad downside? He's like, there's no downside. I was like, that, that sounds sketchy as shit. So well, yeah, if, it's, if, yeah. if it, sounds yeah. too good to be true, it probably, it probably is. is too, yeah, so I said right. no. And he didn't talk to me for the rest of the thing, so. All right, you. Okay, touched it, immediately went out. Um, big old... That's often on my first time, am I right? (laughs) (laughs) I don't remember my sexual life. Thank you. Uh, I'm kind of funny when you're not accusing me of things I've never done. Continue. Okay. Tiny light grew into a big light. Right. Big booming voice saying, um, I, I know who you are and I'll give you strength and power and don't become like the fallen kings of this world. Big old hoopla, but it didn't really make any sense. How do you know who you were? You didn't, are you serious? No. Did it sound like the vulture did? Did it? No, it did not. Make a perception check. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. That perception check. Um. Uh, a uh, seventeen. Seventeen. It sounded familiar to a voice you've heard before. Um. It sounded familiar. It's possibly one of the voices in your dream, but you're not sure. Mm, okay. Which. Makes sense. 
But it wasn't blessed. No. Oh, I can say that con confidently. It was not blessed. Okay. Oh, Great. So we just know that there's a lot of different people in your brains wheeling and dealing while you were unconscious. Yeah. Okay. In other news, in the Coltrane is probably what's causing the prep plague. So. Yeah. It was that bile. Yeah. Yeah. So Coltrane's bad things. Hand in hand. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can so that. we need to get rid of it, right? Somehow. Um. I don't really. Okay. How do you propose? I don't know. Getting rid of it. I really want to blow it up, but again, it's a fumes mm -hmm. thing, and I feel like that wouldn't go great. Zarya, what do you think? I don't know. I think it would be number one, really dangerous. Best things in life are dangerous. True. True. Um, I wish we could somehow contain it in that, like, cavern pit Ooh. that we have to cross somehow. We could just throw it in the cavern. Oh, it's... But How, it's going to rise up. Would it fit through the door? Would it fit through the door? Would no, it fit through the door? not. Would it? Not at all. Oh. I don't think it would fit through the door. Well, what if we just get little water bottles and, like, fill it up? What if we... What's a water bottle? I'm not going near it. Some water thing. What if we somehow seal it and leave it alone forever and make sure no one ever comes back? How do you propose sealing it? Get some saran wrap? Yeah, sure. What's saran, saran wrap? For the listeners, Brooke just flipped us off. And I feel bad now. <laughs> um, all right. I say maybe we need to find Bolesti and Isaac Cork. Mm -mm, those guys are bad. Those are bad news. But continue with your idea. Well, I don't know. I just, we're stuck in this place. We're not necessarily stuck now. We can all get out because they're awake. All right. We can well, just go back across and leave tell, tell Siege and we did Sam. our job. Yeah. Yeah, technically, I mean, we I did. We, we did kill Margaret, but not the Margo. Molesto guy. Right, yeah. but he seemed like... <laughs> Molesto. Molesto. Big bird. Here's what we should do. Uh, Large bird. Let's go yeah. find Cedron. Tell yeah. him we found where they're storing it. Yeah. Ask him if he has any idea of what to do with it. Look, as far as I'm concerned, uh, we did our job. We took out the head of the cult and the most, no if longer. not all, of the minions. Whatever... Deity Big Bird is. Nah. You know, I don't know that we have a way to kill that. Uh, also, he's not here. So as far as I'm concerned, yeah, we did our job. All right, let's go back. Do I have my arrow? <laughs> you haven't retrieved it yet. Can I go get it? Go and make an investigation check. Oh. Ah. What is it? On that one? Mm-hmm. It takes you a really long time to find it. Oh, if you yeah. find it, you know where you shot it. Like the area, it just takes a really fucking long time to find it. Got it. While Hurry she's, up, Tabitha. While she's I'm looking sorry. for that, can I see if like if Margot's head's anywhere, or is that just disintegrated? That's blown. Hey Frank, Margo. did you find the tattoo? Like you find chunks and bits. Okay. Why would you ask me that, Tabitha? Because I have George's. Do you have anything for skin flaps? Yo, can I have it right here? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Dan. Can I investigate? Dan was great. <laughs> You try. I kind of toss it at him. Seven? Just seems like ink. I'm going to push the skin flaps together. The tattoos. <laughs> mm. What are you doing, oh, Tabitha? I don't know. This is weird. As you do, you just hear... Okay. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Here, and I'm going to throw it back at Frank. Was that like a weird fetish of yours? Or? No, it's, it's, it's what keeps them from getting poison. Uh, I thought maybe something was with ink and... Ink and I wonder if Cedron would change his idea about us doing this thing if we knew Bo Lesko was doing it. That's my thought. If we go back, he's going to say, well, go, go kill him and be free. You know, it's or we could just tell him that we killed the cult. Yeah, and show him the skin flaps. Uh, killed the leader of the cult. Margaret said oh, herself she was the leader of the cult. You know what's funny? What? Then when we tell him we did it, and then he finds out we're lying. We're not lying. We killed we, the people in the cult. She told us literally that she was the head of the cult. He said, "Kill the people that are doing this." And the and cult is killed. no longer in agriculture. All right. We all killed right. the people. All right. So Great. let's go back. Great. Oh wait. What? All the people in uh, Center Point. What's it called? Center Point. <laughs> Cedar Point. Uh, Crest Point. Crest Port. Crest uh, Point. Port. All those people in there are past the. Heck out, right? Right, and that's why we why? did this whole thing. So oh. we can tell him, and he wakes him up, and we get our money. Oh, yeah, because I just started to make a stupid, stupid assumption. He was the one that made them all pass out, not Bolesco or something. Right, no, yeah. Cedron was like, I, I was like, did this. Yeah, I was like thinking sleep, thinking Hold up. center point barbecue. What if <laughs> Bolest is powering Cedron? Because he's kind of an animal. Well, and then Bolest why would Cedron kind of ask us to go after the cult? I don't know. He'd probably be bloated. 
Yeah. Deer? Well, well, the Mar- deer were bloated. Well, Margaret wasn't bloated. Right, but then she was. But she wasn't. But she was. But before that, she wasn't. But <laughs> but after that. Well, it's, be- it's before that matters. Uh, Regardless, ooh. I'm, we're telling Cedron that we killed the people in the cult. All right. All yeah. right. Okay. But look, before we do anything else, I gotta look for my gun. Oh, yeah, God. I did promise I'd help him find it. Should we just go back to town and? Yeah, yeah let's, my thought let's... is find the sewers. That's what or... I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of all the I've been oh, while we've been doing all this other shit. I've been trying to retrace my steps in my brain. Why I is it, it so important to you? It's just a gun. Can't you buy another one? You it's can't. a family thing. Um... What is that? We all have family issues. Clearly, yeah. she can't open a letter. I don't even know your family story. Yeah, I want to know. All right. I'm just saying it's important to me. Okay. So, I've been retracing my steps. I had it before we went in the sewer. Yeah. When I re- the point that I realized that I didn't have it was when we got here. The thing I'm thinking maybe it's oh, maybe it's in spider web or something. When I got wrapped up. How did oh. you How did you cross the uh, crevasse? I climbed across. <gasps> what if it did fell you? out of your pocket Shit. in the middle? In the pit. Well, I'm going to hope that didn't happen. And I'm going to look Shit. in the places besides that that it could be. Oh, my well, God. Well, man, I mean, brought, we could be going on a goose chase. I, yeah, I don't no, want to waste our time like this. This is the business, most logical but... thing. I'm not... Okay, look, if you guys don't want to fucking help me, you don't have to. But I'm looking at language. 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 I'm just, I'm just saying. Holy fuck, language. I'm just, I'm just saying it's important. Work. I'm just... And we don't we don't have to go on a wild goose chase and look for weeks on, or anything like that. I just need to check no, some No, I'm places. not even interested We're in geese. With... <laughs> so I, said, go find I your... said I would help. I would As help you. Say, you. I, know, I, know. I just think, I know. Rourke, I just think we need to tell Cedron to wake those people up because it's been almost a week, right? That we've been gone? Sure. we, we got to tell him. It's you know, when lot. you're knocked out and kind of in a nice place, it's going to be comfy, actually. I wouldn't worry about them too much. You might not even have some elevator Sir, music going on. what the wrong with you? Okay, okay. Let's, let's just, just go to Cedron and tell him, and then maybe he can help us, like, trace it or but, well, magic it. Do you guys ever feel like you're sleeping when you're awake? Uh, I'm going to roll to see if I'm asleep. <laughs> Because I've done it a few times before, and I still want to do it, because I don't know what you're up to, Andrew. Get wrong. Uh, oh, fuck, it's a five. You might be asleep. God damn it. <laughs> Everything that's been oh happening seems out of the ordinary. You might, you might be. Fuck. Look. No, I'm awake. You actually find yourself thinking about it a lot. Like, when was the last time that you felt like you were awake? I don't know. Did we get long rest? For Neither that? of you got long uh, rests. Fuck. You two got long rests. I mean, I didn't right. need it, but... All right, so let's do one across the crevasse yeah, and go cr- see that Cedron. Yeah. Well, I want to, I wanna just since we're close, since the sewers are close to the bottom of the mountain anyway, I just, I have to check. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Are you serious, for? Well, it's important to no, him, No, I know. Okay? I said I would help. I said I would help. It's just I feel like... Those pe- I kind of feel like I owe those people something and I need to wake them up. You know? we'll, we'll do that like it, it, it won't take long is to... Is this a moral thing? You should have left that far behind when you became a thief. A week versus a I, day. I should have left it behind when I killed like that whole town, but... Yeah. Here oh, we are. Whoa. Oh. Hey, the truth is coming out. Wait. We're all edgy. Valid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. We're all edgy. And then I start walking toward the crevasse. <laughs> Sweet. So you're walking towards the crevasse. Bye, Samuel. Yeah. Oh. Bye, uh, Samuel. I give him a Samuel. little tickle as I leave. No, I close the no, door. Sleep no. tight. No. Let's. How about that we voted on this? All right. No, it was two to two. Tabitha, uh, I will carry Samuel. So I don't like a fourth I, person in the crew. I will crew. carry Samuel. So long Nothing is do not make me be his personal whore. I can't point. promise that because I kind of. Then I'm him. leaving him. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm leaving him too because I just don't care about. Look, that you man. do whatever you want with your body, but look. <laughs> We'll we'll take him back. What if we I just... go I go slap his face a little bit again, see if he's up. Nothing. Ah shit. You guys deal with him. I'll Let's cross leave him a note and say, hey, we're gonna leave you this rope. You huh. can get across. Yeah, we'll leave the rope. Yeah, we'll leave the rope. Wait. That sounds reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Right, cool. We're gonna make an intelligence check. <laughs> Twenty. Natural twenty? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Uh Samuel is emaciated. 
and doesn't seem like the strongest person in the world. <laughs> Navigating over a pit on just a rope, you doubt you probably would ever see him again. Uh, All right, here's what we'll do. We'll tie him on around. You're not very strong. You're. I'm not carrying him. My body, and I'll pop him, him across. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll take him with us, and <laughs> then we'll go. kill me. Okay, who's carrying Sammy? I am... I'll help support him while we're getting to the crevasse. I'll okay, take, I'll take point. So go ahead and make strength <laughs> checks. Frank, you're in front. Nine. Thirteen. Sweet. You guys, you guys move, Samuel. Dude, not looking for traps, not sneaking. No, you're good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You guys uh, get to the room with the cauldron in it. Mm-hmm. Um, we could just throw Samuel in there. It's really tall. It's... Sorry, sorry, I forgot you guys want him to live. Okay. I liked the. Stage whispering. True, true. Zara, do you actually like that idea? No, I don't. <laughs> Serious question. Ah. No. There was a frog in the cave. No, I don't. Okay. Seems like a nice guy. I just don't want to be around him. Just cute. <laughs> um, you guys pass the room with the cauldron and head into the room that now has the uh, chasm in it. All right, I should go across first. Wait, hold on. No, I'll go across first. I would first. like to cast light down the chasm. Down into the chasm? Mm-hmm. I've done that go twice. Ahead. He's done that. I know, twice. I just want to see if that gun is somewhere right. deep in there. We never saw the bottom, Ooh. though. You don't have to roll to hit the chasm. Oh, okay, great. Um, as the light cascades down into the, the chasm, just this orb of light just... You see an expanse as it goes and goes and goes until eventually it's just swallowed by darkness as it goes too far away from you to perceive it. Mm. Well, I kind of want to, like, someone hold, like, you guys hold a rope and I can go down and no. cast light closer to see if the gun is down there. Because no. I bet that's where the gun is. No. If he, uh, if you crawled... I'm going to start spider monkeying my way across the rope. <laughs> oh go ahead and make an athletic You know in Pirates of the Caribbean when they do that? That's what I'm imagining yeah. in my head. Seen that's 18, 19, 20, 21. Sweet. You get to the other side. Sweet. Pretty nimbly. All right. Thanks for the help, Frank. Just, uh, just how I imagine Frank <laughs> across. All right. Like a spider Here's shambles. Here's what we'll do. Here. Rourke, tie hit Samuel to me. All right. I do that. With what rope? With my rope. Okay, so you're untying the grappling hook from it. Yes. And tying the rope. Okay, cool. Yes. And I'm going to... Not take my bow and slide. <laughs> I will use my feet and my. I, I before hands. before before she does that, uh, I take what's left of the rope after I tie Samuel to her, and I like give her a loop around the rope so that she's oh, like nice. so that she can scoot across, but she's still secured in some way to the rope. Thank you. Sweet. So she's kind of carrying her into the yeah. rope. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I have to go ahead and make an athletics check at disadvantage. I'm really scared. That's a net 20. Oh, that disadvantage. Oh, no. That's not bad. 18. 18. You get to the other side, but now you have to get up on Mm. top with Samuel on top of you. Mm. I mean, you're under the rope here, and the ledge is right here. It's just you have a body on you. So go ahead and make... Yeah? It'd be nice if you could, you know... Mm, what a predicament we seem to be in. Live in the present, Live in the Frank. present Frank. Ugh. And I pick up the. I just grab dude by his shoulders and I kind of chug him, try to chug him up. Okay, sweet. Just make an athletics check. <laughs> no disadvantage. Twenty. Nice. You get up. Oh, thank you. With Samuel on the other side. All right, come on. I'll go next. Okay. Oh. Uh, athletics. Yep. Eleven. Sweet. You make it about halfway out. Mm-hmm. Uh, go ahead and make another athletics check. Ten. Ten. You make it uh, the other half. Mm-hmm. Now you gotta get up. Make one more. Four. Four. <laughs> it takes a lot of effort, but you get there. Great. I untie the rope from the post and hold it in my hands. What are you doing, Tess? Fly across. No, if she did it before, uh, we're going to do it again. Fly across. Are you... S- fly I across. I we're trying to live in the present here. This is the present, but it's an important well, fact. I say it doesn't work like that, does it? Never mind. 
Fly Look. across. I can't. I don't know just, how. Just jump in. Something will happen. I. I, no, 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 I just try to make these just wings. Try it out. I, I can't fly. Well, just maybe, I, like I'm not. Maybe it's like some angel. I'm not a fairy. Maybe it's like some angel being in you that doesn't want to die or something. Yeah. So jump whenever you, like you're we'll close see. to dying, it'll like save your life and whatever. Try it. See what happens. Worst could happen. Worst thing could happen. Oh, you At this barrage no, of people literally... making fun of you. Your eyes go completely gold. You're fucking welcome. As wings just shoot out of your back. Um, and something propels you literally across the chasm to the other side. And as you get there, you just, all of it fades off and you hit oh the ground. Oh my gosh. Tight. You think I'm the bad guy when I'm just helping you be the best you. So I'm I bitch. Get up and, and I say forward. I hate you all so much. I hate oh, come you all on. so much. Because we You're helped welcome. you fly? Oh, y'all are the Oh, worst God human forbid beings. we give you a really cool ability. Ugh. Not, that means whenever we want you to use your wings, we'll just kind of berate yeah. you. You know? I hate you all so much. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. You're welcome. I mean, yeah. I didn't You're say thank you. You're welcome. I didn't say you thank didn't you. Do it. I did. If I hadn't done You're type welcome. of woe. Let's go, guys. <laughs> okay, All right, Rorik. Jeez. Sweet. Uh, so you guys uh, have... Who's carrying Samuel down Me? this mountain? Oh, God. Oh. I'm trying to wake him up before Is there we a go. log? Is there, like, a tree trunk that I can hollow out and then roll him down? Hollow out? That's a guy. <laughs> hours. I ain't waiting that long. <laughs> How many weeks do you have? <laughs> or like a dead tree that's like fallen over somewhere. Uh, go ahead and make a, an investigation check. <laughs> what are you doing, Tabitha? <laughs> make a downhill 17? canoe. 17? <laughs> um, what the hell? 17? Uh, at this altitude? No. Shit. So we're, wait, we're past the timber line? <laughs> no, it's just okay, not Okay, I was going to say, like, holy not shit. Very conducive holy shit, to, is it cold? <laughs> to trees. Or if there's Sorry. a fabric, we could like kite him down. What the hell are you talking <laughs> about, Tabitha? Are you high? No, I'm just Here, trying to wait, Tabitha. Oh, wait, this is an magical world, world Tabitha. Yeah, thank you. I give him Nazara. Say, so come on, little buddy. Faith, hope, and pixie dust. Here we go. Is this the point where we berate her? I think so. Yeah, come on, insult. You don't have yeah. to be a bitch about it. Just God, yeah, hill. come on. Get over yourself. You don't need to constantly beg for braidment. <laughs> I mean... Rourke just starts walking down. See, Rourke see, starts walking down the hill. I'd be a See you, Rourke. Bye. Your, your hair is stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. I don't know why you wouldn't want to fly. <gasps> uh, I try to fly. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> All right, I'll carry him down as I walk down. I am cool strength check. <laughs> Well, We're gonna get exhaustion, y'all. Samuel. I hate this guy. Okay, um. <laughs> you don't even know him. <laughs> but then I love him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know him. Uh, uh, that's an 18. An 18? Yeah, she's fine, see? Uh, all three of you guys make athletic checks for me. Cool. Natural 20. Sweet. 5. Sweet. 16. Sweet. Uh, you guys make it back to the hamlet? Tabitha, you've been a little bit tired. The hamlet? Yeah. What? The small hamlet that was halfway up the mountain. <laughs> the small town where you guys slept when was it and called found the hamlet? Hamlet. What was it the hamlet? That's a technical name for it, isn't it? A small yeah, it's hamlet? A, I've like, never like heard what that. Those are called. I'm pretty what? Sh- I'm pretty sure I called are it you that sure? at some point in the mm. recording. I've never, I've heard, never this heard that. Hey, Joe, we'll go and uh, roll the tape on that. See what, see what that was. It's okay. Uh, what? Joe. Who's Joe? <laughs> if, if, uh, if, if, uh, it is in that episode, can you just, like, splice it in right here? <laughs> but it seems to be the remnants of an old little town or something. The segment no. of me being like, We've never heard small you hamlet. say this. <laughs> if it's not, That's never been a get word. rid of all of this. I'll look for it. Sweet, thanks. Yeah. So we're at the Hamlet. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, you're at the small town with the th- the 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 two caved in buildings and and the one you spent the night in. Great. How long did that take us? Maybe an hour. Well, hour. let's keep going. Is it still daytime? Huh? Okay. Well, let's keep going as you down. Walked outside at least. As you came out, gotcha. it was it was day. Cool. It would be about midday though. Midday. Um. Let's keep going then. Go? Keep I would love to rest, but that's okay. Everybody roll athletics checks. Unless Zar- 
You want to protest for rest resting? Natural is 20. I would love to rest. 13? 10. 10. 12. 12. 12. 12. Cool. You guys make your way to the bottom of the mountain. Zara, you have a point of exhaustion. There it is. <laughs> Ayo! Um, All right, now I'd say we just leave him here. He'll wake up. Great. At the sewer? Well, not in the sewer. sewer. He's in a nice little meadow. Well, um, I mean, we could just take him to the town. Yeah, we're already there. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay. The sun's beginning to crest, by the way, time-wise. Oh, my God. Great. You're getting about, like, 5 o'clock. Yeah, we gotta hurry. Yeah. Jeez. Well, All right. Let's let's go check in the sewer real quick. Yeah. Zambia, you have your map, right? <laughs> oh my god. One of these days when I learn how to fly really, really well, I'm personally going to fly and bitch slap you with one of my wings one day, all of you. Um Good luck. Yeah, I'm pretty dexterous. What was the question avoid... though? Do you have your map? Oh yeah, I have my map. Okay, cool. Okay. Love you. <laughs> I'm gonna bitch slap the shit out of you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> so wait, are we gonna take him in here with it, or do we want to? Yeah, 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 let's take him. I don't want to carry him, but somebody else does. He'll be in love with Jana. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right. So let's go to the uh, let's go to the spider room. Spider room. Spider, spider okay. room. Is this where you think your gun is? Let me let me pull right. up. <laughs> well, it's the closest thing that I know to check. I have literally pulled up. Every one of my things in the course of hey, this. Rourke. What? I'm just thinking. Yeah. Nah. What? Yeah, I don't think. Well, <laughs> no, what are you thinking? They never came in contact with you, so it doesn't matter anyway. Who? Well, the pirates. What? Pirates? Yeah. They're pirates? Yeah. What about them? When they were running, when we were going to chase after them, and then you start for Zara, maybe they pickpocketed you when they ran off. We weren't even close to them. I know, that's why I was like, ah, oh, never mind. Oh. Well, yeah, that makes sense why you were like, never mind then. Yeah. Cause... I do think that yeah. it's I mean, in that cavern, but... I like to think it's in the cavern. I do, too. Yeah. I think it's gone. Forever. Well, I'm going to check. You can yeah. check to the cave when we were there. So is it like your dad's? No, and I keep walking toward the spider room. Okay. Uh, who's who's carrying Samuel? Zara. I guess I am. That's no. what I'm doing. Or, or what are we doing with Samuel? She, she's she got her map. She knows what she's doing. I'll help carry Samuel through the shit. Okay, that makes sense. Make strength check. 13. 13, you're carrying Samuel through the shit, but you're kind of dragging him through it. Um, it's like his mouth's above it. Mm-hmm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um... <laughs> You, uh, you are carrying uh, them through it. You guys make your way through the area led by Zara. Uh, and you guys find a walk. Go back to this room where the spiders were. All right. Three Everybody see it? deteriorating corpses. Yeah. Um, spiders are there. Let's just check in all the webbing and everything and, and see if it's if it's stuck in any of that. 14. 14. Uh, this is investigation, by the way. Investigation 18. Sweet. Frank, Frank fake oh, yawns. 16. That's a tongue twister right there. Frank fake yeah. wa- yawns. Mm. Frank, fake, Frank yawns. fake yawns. Frank fake yawns. Frank fake yawns. Eight. Eight. So. Eighteen. Eighteen. Sixteen. Don't find it. Shit. Anybody know the spell locate object? Um. Any no. chance? Um. I was gonna do that at one point, but then I was like, nah. Wait. So no. Do you know how to just find things? Like the- no. magically? No. Hmm. No. Frank? No. <laughs> well, why'd you say you thought about it, but then you were like, no? I mean, I had the opportunity to have that spell, but I didn't want to. Oh, I, I thought it was, you meant like, oh, I have it, but I'm just not going to do it. Frank, genuinely, no. I'm really sorry about the gun. Did but you call him Frank? Frank? <laughs> Rourke, I'm really sorry about the gun, truly, but we have to go wake those people up. Frank's itching for his money. I'm trying to make Itch amends. It. Zara, I don't know what she's doing. You want to get your money. Let's give it to Cedron. And maybe Cedron knows locate objects or something. Yeah, fine. Okay, go. Cool. Yeah, no, <laughs> we'll, do, we'll just go then, yeah. Fine. So where are you guys? Bobby, what was that? That was a... That was a, 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 a yeah, that. that yeah. <laughs> mm, so where are you guys heading to now? Back Let's out of the sewer. Okay. Which um, back out? The back out. Just it, the into town way. Oh, the into town way. Okay. Yeah. 
You're fine. Great. Uh, you have proved that you. Know I how know to that sewer. It, so I don't need to make you navigate it. Okay. Every time. Um, you guys, uh, you have us navigate back through the sewers. Work, make another strength check for the rest of this. Just mess. Six. A six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it gets real bad moving Samuel. Um, but it just takes a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys get back to um, the where you're exiting into town. Mm-hmm. And uh, as you kind of open the gate and go out into it, everybody make a perception check for me. Uh, oh, twenty-two. <laughs> no, it was a five. It was a five. <laughs> five. Wait. Five, six, seven, nine. Twenty-two. Twenty-two, twenty-two, nine. Thirteen. 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 You three. Uh, not Frank. It was my fault. Frank, it's okay. You're doing your own thing. Um, <laughs> and you fake yawn, remember? <laughs> Yeah, you three hear what sounds to be, uh, what sounds like music. And Oh, I cover my ears. And Okay, you do. Okay. Does it sound like the pipe music from before? Not at all. Oh, I uncover my ears. You're good. Um, oh. I'm really freaked out. You just did it before I could, like, finish. Sorry. So I was like, okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry. No, no, you're good. Um, you guys, uh, you just hear what sounds to be, like, lively music playing uh, throughout the town. Mm. Um, See, the plague's here. We did it. Yeah, we did it. And go toward where the music's coming from. Okay. Mm. Uh, it starts leading you towards, or wherever the music is kind of coming from. Are you guys following? or? Yeah. I, yeah. I give Samuel to one of them. I carried him through the ship. If nobody takes him, I'm dropping him. Just delicately place him down. We should put him like at, like... Just his favorite place, like a peach pit or something. Yeah. yeah he'll wake up here. He'll be fine. Okay. All right. So you guys are dropping Samuel? In the middle of the road? Yeah. So yeah, sounds good. Yeah. I'm going to leave the pube on his chest. You You do. Might need that later, though. It's really, it's really symbolic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, guys, leave him there. <laughs> you uh, know what? Start moving towards... <laughs> you probably heard everything we said, though, because we could hear everything that... <laughs> So when we were like, huh, we should leave him. Samuel, I appreciate the help. Oh. We didn't leave you, so there. I, I, I keep I'm walking. Has our I'm, prostitute I'm, friend fulfilled you sexually? I have no interest in you sexually <laughs> no. at all. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving you for no good reason. <laughs> you weighed us down. Yeah. But I, God, God bless. Okay, I'm out. You guys leave Samuel on the road. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> You guys are heading towards this, whatever the sound is? Yeah. Hey, it's coming from what seems to be the town square. Or mm-hmm. uh, one that you have passed through a few times on the way to the marketplace area. Mm-hmm. Um, you uh, walk through some alleyways to get there, and you start to see, as the sun has gone down now and it is dark out, you start to see torches, and you start to mm-hmm. see fire, and you start to see fire moving. Um, as you walk into this large area... Uh, there are people juggling fire. There's live music. Whoa. There's uh, roll perception. Pretzels. Uh, <coughs> soft pretzels. Soft roll, pretzels. Roll perception. Eighteen. That's 18. a nat one. Uh, <laughs> looking around for pretzels, you're like, wait, what are pretzels? And and, 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 and you don't see anything that looks like it. You see a person selling turkey <gasps> legs. Uh, it, it seems to be a festival of some sort. Asiago uh, bagels. Uh, no Asiago bagels. Dang right it. Now. <laughs> um. I grab the nearest person and say, hey, what's going on? Uh, okay, uh, you grab somebody and turn around, mm-hmm. and uh, it's Marcus. Oh. Who? Marcus, from Ye Old Target. Oh. oh. Guys, I've been looking for you. <laughs> right, we just got hey. back. Yeah. <gasps> what? You, you said- guys did it. We did. Right? It's, yeah. yeah. They haven't been we, around we did. any of these nights. Yeah, we killed We killed we the one in charge. I was worried you guys passed away because it was taking so long. I didn't know what to think. But the, the town orchestrated a big, like, shindig. It's the first time we've been able to celebrate at night outside. Well, that's in, great, Marcus. Good for Two you. Two years. Good, good for you. Cool. That is excellent, Marcus. Do you guys want to, I don't know. Join the festivities? Absolutely. Sure. Can we wash off first? Because we... we Kind of covered in shit. Gun roll stealth. What? I don't trust you, Tabitha. I don't trust that. I don't trust I that I might be living in the present, but... Twelve? Twelve? Tabitha! Fuck. 
Hi. Hey. Uh, did you bring my arrow back? Did it help? It did actually. It did. It blew it up. You, know you got it back right though. You picked it up. Yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw no, you I saw you pick it up. Yeah. I saw you pick it up and put it in your back pocket. Oh. You don't want to give it to him because you said multiple times that you don't want to give it to him. <laughs> yeah, no, but isn't that the truth? No. Yeah. That? When we were leaving, you picked it up. No, no, when we were crossing, there's this huge chasm. And I was trying to oh save someone's life, right? And it was no, really weren't. insane. No, you Shut weren't. the fuck up. What now? And she wants to keep your arrow because it's badass. No, no, no. We were crossing, and really? I was. Yep. <laughs> I was carrying this lifeless body. Make a performance body check. Shit. Or a deception check. Frank, what the fuck, Joe? He's an honest working man. You're trying. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ten. I can't believe you lied to me like that. Well, hold on, Marcus. I. I'm gonna be really honest with you for a minute. Can um, I be honest with you? Yeah. I. I still have the money to pay for this bow, and I had to make mine out of palm trees, and it's a thing my grandfather and I used to do. How about this? How about this? We can wager it on one of the games here tonight. Oh. And if you beat me, you can have it. Oh, yeah. wager's fun. I like that. But if I beat you, then I get to decide something. Oh, or decide oh. what? I don't know yet. I like it. Do it. I don't Shake like on it. it. I don't know Shake what on it. he's going to do. Well, do you pinky, want that arrow pinky, or not? Pinky promise. It's the arrow and the bow, right? Well, no. He's going to trade back your bow from before, remember? Listen. This one was on loan while he was souping you up your old You know what I'll say? One. You go ahead and keep this bow. You've oh. done the town a great service. Thank you. That bow is not a family heirloom, though. Right. I've had a few, and I'll wager it right now, yeah. but... What do you say? Or he'll just kill you and keep it. Well, that would be Aww. shitty. That Roll would be really shitty. Check. Don't make me break your knees, Tabitha. Fourteen? Why would you want to kill me? I didn't say I was going to do it. I'm just saying. Uh, He's an innocent man. I'm just trying to... Look, no, make a wager. This sounds yeah, fun. Look, there's festivities. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'll wager Jesus. with him, and then he's going to decide to kill me. That's... Why would he kill I don't you? Want to kill you? He's a he's an honest man. What the hell kind of thing would that be? That's, I not, can a, that's tell. not a wager thing. Just shake on it. Pinky promise. He's telling me. All right, all right. This is a pact right here. Don't forget that, Tabitha. I know for, you like breaking uh, your pact. For you listeners, Frank, they where's shook the on it. Present. Oh, I am. I'm just aware of the past. Great, Tabitha. You let me know when you wanna. You wanna. Well, let's just get it over you with. You wanna do it right now? Yeah. Okay, guys! And he uh, leads you to uh, in a place where they're uh, shooting bows and arrows. <gasps> nice. Uh, I like it. I like it. I this like it. This is going to be what I roll like twos and ones. I you like got it. this. Um, I'm cool, Robin Hood. You're about <laughs> 40 feet away from the target shooting at it. Uh, okay. Mini game. Do you want me to go first? Do you want to go first? <laughs> Cue the mini game music. Yeah, Marcus, go ahead. All right. He pulls out his like really nice bow and puts one dead in the bullseye. Ah! Uh, Instantly. Beat that. Oh, you got <laughs> that. Yeah, you no problem. General to hit. Isn't he also a little bit like choiced? I'm horrified <laughs> right now. That's awesome. Oh yeah, Marcus. Eleven. Eleven. Plus my dex. You added your modifier, yeah, so okay. you know what they add. Seventeen. Seventeen. You t right next to his. Oh, All right. This is giving me anxious poops. Well, that's pretty good. Nice. Nice. And he goes to give you a high five. Sportmanship. Sportmanship. Yeah, I, I, lift, I lift her hand and Sport high five him. Sportmanship. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Good um, job. Okay. I, I guess I'll take another shot. <laughs> what is this happening? He uh, he puts one in the side of it. It just it it forked and curved on him wrong, and and Ooh. he just misses Ooh. any of the targets. Tap you out. Fourteen? Fourteen? You put one in the middle okay. uh, circle. Not like the dead center bullseye, yeah. but the uh, second in. Okay. How many is um, this that's out not of? Bad. That's not bad. Marcus, Marcus, how many? Best of three. Best, Best of three. three. Best like of three. It. You're in the lead, but I'm going to get you on this one. So one more. Marcus is so happy. This is great. Gosh. Is, is, there Marcus, somebody, is there somebody with a drink nearby? Would you like to acquire a drink? I just grab a drink from whoever's passing by and like check this out. Oh no! I don't like you do. Get like a little, like a little flag that says like "Go Tea." <laughs> go Tea. 
Go ahead and roll <laughs> a hefty investigation check. Oh, uh, man. I thought it was an um, 20. It was going to lose my fucking it's, mind. It's uh, <laughs> 13. You find like, uh, like a little piece of cloth that you just kind of like rip off of something and grab like a piece of charcoal and write a T on it. Yes. And you're just kind of like, go T. Um, what the hell is happening? It's for Marcus, I grabbed Tabitha. Abernathy, by the way. You Did grabbed you? Abernathy? Yeah, he was passing by with a drink and I grabbed him. <laughs> you bet your ass he was. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are we looking at? What are we watching? Oh, um, we're having a contest. We're having a contest, Abernathy. Check it out. Hey, I watched the contest to the best of my ability, but I've had a, uh, a lot to drink. Great, and I start drinking his drink. Sweet, you start drinking. Wait, now that's more. Okay, sure. <laughs> you guys are just sharing a cup because he's not letting go of it. I'm Great. Sorry. Um, go uh, did, did, uh, it was you know, he, yeah, he yeah, put one right in the bullseye. Uh, you got so it, you're you got it. <laughs> Silence on the court. I hate this so much, you The guys. crowd goes quiet. Yeah, oh. yeah, I told you guys. Eleven. Eleven? Yep. You fork one into the uh, side of it, um, much like his second shot. I don't lose well. This is um, again. Marcus wins. I Wait, what? That yeah, he was... had two bullseyes. Yeah, he two said bullseyes. his last one was a bullseye. Wait, no, that's they're yeah, even they're, now. Yeah, that's we're four, even. and one bullseye is two, and then the middle is one point. Oh, I she thought you meant two four. Oh, oh I we're was... on a point system rather than, oh, you yes. were closer on that one. I was closer I on this one. I was going with that, too. Sorry. Ah. So Marcus wins. I don't know mm. you wins. Oh. Go, oh. team. I kind of like push Abernathy away. Jephthah? You're an amazing marksman. I'm gonna kind of my daggers into my hands. No. I, I, Tabitha, you I, shook I, on it. I wish no, I wish no, 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 no one whoa, saw that. Whoa, whoa. Sleight of hand if you're doing it stealthily. Perception if anyone else wants okay. to see it. Twelve. If you know Tabitha enough to be like, she I might don't... garrot this poor child. I don't see it. Eleven. Eleven. What was no. yourself? Twelve. No one 12. saw it. No one saw it. You have your address <laughs> currently where you can get to him. It's a really good match. But can I have my family heirloom back? You can keep the bow. That's all I wanted. You shook on it, Tabitha. You made a deal. Go tea. I just want to thank you for a good round. <laughs> I just... We could just hug it out, and I'll give you the bow back. The, the, the arrow. arrow back. The arrow, arrow. back, yeah. yeah. Hug. Hug. <laughs> I go over and I hug Tabitha. No, not you, Frank. <laughs> oh, oh. I kind of want... Oh. Okay. Well, sure. I... And he goes to give you a hug and hugs you. And I'm going <gasps> to... <gasps> no! So pause, so I can no! get this correct. You are gonna stab Marcus in the middle of a huge center party center in a, the uh, festival in a town. Set his people free. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the festival. You're gonna do this. You're gonna fuck us all over, Tabitha. Oh, Tabitha. Just oh, as your DM. Gosh. Do you want Did to I do that? Did I say I was gonna kill him? You are stabbing him like with knives like... as an assassin. Oh, and it's gonna critical because now, I'm if you don't again. want it to, if you just want to press a dagger yeah, into him we'll a little that. bit, we'll go with that. You said I want to, so I assume yeah, that meant did, two no, daggers into his out. spine. I'm just checking. So in the hug, you're going to start to push the daggers in slow, or are you just hugging Marcus? I'll just give him a hug. It's up to you. I'll give him a hug. No, no, no. Play your character. I'll give him a hug, and I'll give him the arrow. And I'm gonna walk off. Okay. Y you do, and Marcus has no idea how close to death he truly was. You did a good thing, Tabitha. Bye. Don't you feel good inside now? I give Marcus a little pat on the back and say, "Thanks for everything, Marcus." I think she's kind of into you, and I walk away. She is pretty. Aww. And I lean in and I say, "Marcus, did you find anything that I might like?" Not yet. It's been a day. Oh. It's felt like Two. a fucking eternity. All right. I'm sorry. Do you guys want to check out the other games? I would love to check yeah, out the check other, out games, other games, Marcus. Absolutely. Tabitha, have you just, like, gone I'm gone. gone. But before, before we do that, let's wash off real quick. Then we'll check out games. Absolutely. I just need to get shit off of me. 
I smell like three day vomit. Yeah. Um, cool. You guys go to wash off. Uh, and Thomas kind of waits outside of an area. Thomas. Sorry. Thomas is dead. Thomas is dead. Episode one dead. Oh, uh, Freudian slip there. I don't know. Not Freudian. That would be the wrong thing. Marcus uh, is just kind of waiting outside. And you guys want to come along? Absolutely. Okay. And he, right. he takes you all into uh, this uh, the town square where they've set up these ribbons on strings, uh, or the flags on strings and streamers and stuff. And it's just a lot of fun. There's torches. There's lots of things to do. Um, I can tell you some about the events that are uh, are happening. Uh, there's uh, arm wrestling uh, mm. that you can... I mean, all these you can gamble on and stuff. It's super fun. Mm. Uh, we have arm wrestling. There's a really cool obstacle course area. Um, there's a drinking contest. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. Can I, can I take part of this drinking contest? Maybe. Let's see. find out. Let's see what uh, that. Yeah. And, and and there's various other things. Hey, if you guys want to just like check it out or look around, uh I want to see I want to see Frank in a drinking contest. I want to get wasted. Even though Frank you, can't actually drink. You I'm should drunk. Marcus, <laughs> you should see this guy when he drinks. Man, I get fucked up. Whoa. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm not the judge. So I'll show you to it if you want. Let's go. Okay. Right. And he takes you guys over to the tent uh, where the uh, the drinking contest is set to occur. And this uh, large man with his big big mustache comes out. And he's like, well, hello. What can I do for you folks? I want to enter the drinking contest. He absolutely does. What the fuck is that? This I'm is... Hey, this, he, this man right here, helped save this town. This is Frank. And Marcus is like, these are the guys I was telling you guys about. Well, fantastic. I didn't think I'd meet the heroes of Dagger Point. <laughs> well, here we are. Rourke. Rourke, Mon nice to meet you, Montgomery. Pleasure to meet you, Montgomery. Point us to this drinking contest. It's yes. literally right here. Well, good know. thing we're right here. That's um, why all these drinks are laid out. Absolutely. Uh, question. Yes. My good thing. Yes. How do you drink? I put it in my mouth. Right. Yeah. And it then goes into... I, and I get... He hands you a, a, a mug. And I kind of like hold my head back. And I pour it down so it goes like down past my like... My body. <laughs> <laughs> it falls through the spine. Falls into the spine. And I'm Sweet. like... This will... And, and, it, and it heightens my blood alcohol cut. My alcohol cut. Damn it. <laughs> it splatters all over the floor yeah. below you. Ooh, um, nice trickle. <laughs> I'm quite sorry, sir. Yeah? But you cannot compete in this competition. Oh. oh is it a flesh thing? It's a flesh thing. Oh. I'm sorry to dis... And his arm slips <laughs> off as he tries to touch you. <laughs> I'm sorry to discriminate, Don't touch me. but it's... Don't it's, touch me. If it wasn't for the gambling aspect of it, absolutely. Ah. In fact, if you want to get up there and drink, I just can't. I just can't count. No, you. I'm. It's okay, man. Yeah, you, you gotta own your business and do what you gotta do. I got gotcha. you. You're a, you're a nice fella. Thanks. <laughs> Craig's like a little bit. If he had tears, he'd be crying. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What if? What if you entered the drinking contest? No, no, no. I'm sorry. What if you entered? Well, I'm not. I like the sound of this. I, mean, I want to see a drunk tiefling. I get a little more charcoal and I cross off the T. And I say, R. <laughs> go R, go R, go. Do you cross R. off the T or do you just flip it over? <gasps> I just flip it over. Nice. <laughs> um, go R, go R. It's like a little pennant, you know. So uh, Montgomery explains to you the rules. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, you guys just. The table will continue to drink glass after glass of mead mm -hmm. until uh, mead. only one person is still functional. Great. Throwing up knocks you out. Passing out knocks you out. Okay. Um, Montgomery also does, does give this advice. Mm -hmm. um, as as um, 
As Marcus has informed me, you just having gotten here, mm. I might suggest the drinking contest at the end, because many a man has blacked out. You uh, might lose out on other festivities. That's true. I do want to enjoy the festivities. I got to see what else is going on around here. That's yeah, a good point. That points. Well, we'll be back. Just let me know. We won't wait for the heroes of Dagger Point. Wow. <laughs> All right. Hey, Montgomery Reed. Cool. So, um, as we're, um, as we're making our way just around the festivities, checking things out, um, I want to kind of pull Marcus to the side just a little bit. Um, I'd say, look, Marcus, I know you mentioned that guns are outlawed here in Dagger Point. Um, but if you couldn't tell when I was asking about any firearms and stuff, I had one. It seems to be missing. I don't know. I don't know if it got lost somewhere along the way, or if I got pickpocketed or anything. But if you know of anybody that sells around here, and just if it happened to end up uh, amongst undesirables, uh, I would really like to track it down, or at least try to find a way to replace it. If there's any way you know, or anybody that you know that could point us in that direction, I have no idea. I wish I could help you, but I don't. I don't trade in those circles. Understand? Sorry. That's all right. I you just know had to ask. Someone who does? No. I just had to ask. Okay. Um. Well, great. Uh. Da, 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 da. I what like to go to the obstacle course. Mm-hmm. Obstacle course. Mm-hmm. Well, great. Let's go to the obstacle uh, course. Obstacles. It's like our daily right. lives. Here's you guys, you guys, point. Uh, you guys head over to the obstacle course, mm-hmm. um, uh, where you see uh, uh, an, another kind of uh, judge running it, and is like, "Come one, come all, for the dexterity challenge. Can you pass over this obstacle course without falling in the water? Mm. It looks like a ye old ninja warrior." Yeah. Uh, Let me try this, good sir. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, by 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 the way, just so I knock it out with all these events, mm-hmm. Marcus is going up to everyone, telling them that you guys Aww, are the heroes of Dagger Point. This Marcus. is great. He's pretty much like your biggest good fan at this PR. point. Oh, Marcus. Um, Marcus is great. Uh, Hope nothing so bad happens to him. You uh. You yeah. Who would like to try? How about we all three do? Yeah. There is a five gold entry fee. Done. But the payout mm. if you win is seventy five gold. Hey. I'm in for that. I'm in I too. Like, I like, but there can only be one. I don't like the sound of that. Great. One at a time or one winner. I don't like those. There's gonna be one winner. Okay. Like but oh, you only run it, run it one at a time. Okay. Yeah. So, so yes. We're all individual. We're not a team. Correct. Okay. All right. Well, let's all do it. Let's see who can get through it. If anybody can get, can get through it. I don't like those odds. Well, it's just five gold to do. Oh, it. I'm in. No, um, it's fine. Then, but if somebody wins, then hey, we'll, come like, on. Hey, should we split it, and then we'll point. have less money. Hey, look. I'll tell you right now. Whichever one, if one of us wins, they just get it. We don't split it. We're all putting our own gold in it. Yeah. I mean, come on, Frank. Okay. Okay. All right. I put down my five gold. I put down my th- five gold. I put mine down my five gold. Okay. <laughs> um, can I take off my chainmail for this? Certainly. Great. So, um, you uh, you see uh. Duh, 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 duh. You see the guy running the game. All right. The festivities at the obstacle course shall begin. Woo. Momentarily. Are there any more entries? We have the skeleton. Frank. We have Frank. That's right. We have the blue tiefling. Rock. Rock. We have the elf girl. Um, Zara. Zara. Excellent. Woo. Everybody's doing names. We'll just do names. We'll make it uniform. Uh... <laughs> We also have entering the competition, young Marcus. Actually, you see can, Marcus? I be, can I be Frank the Great? 
if you win. Oh. I mean, Frank the Just Okay for right now, then? Absolutely. Frank the Just Okay. Marcus shows up. He's like, I- I'm ready to play. Uh, you also see, ah, uh, everything went black. Um, <laughs> the darkness. Oh, no. <laughs> you see, uh, you see uh, this. Uh, everybody roll uh, perception. Get your dice. Ooh, net 20. 18. Net 20. Um, let's, uh, let's, uh, you said perception? You said perception, right? Yep. Right, five, six, seven. Okay. So we have natural 20. Mm-hmm. Mm, I shouldn't have had you roll. I apologize. Oh. Uh, Just you two. 18. 18. <laughs> you recognize her as one of the girls from the Peach Pit, one oh. of the uh, prostitutes at the time. Ah. Um, he points it out. Uh, Moira will also be entering the competition. And uh, old man Abernathy. And you hear like the crowd just like... Gah! Oh, man. Uh, as you just, hey, everybody, I'm ready to do my best. Um, <laughs> you also, it's about this time. Uh, false, I lied. Um, it's not about that time. It's not, I lied. Um, and that is it for the people that are in the competition. Great. Competition. Um, so, he's up first. Moira. Uh, you see, you see Moira start to run the obstacle course. I hope you fall. <laughs> uh, she gets over about two obstacles and just eats it mm. over one. Uh, and the crowd's like, ah, oh, because everybody wants everyone to succeed except yeah. Frank. Um, <laughs> and so everyone's like, ah, oh, good try, yeah, good, good try, try, good try. Good try. Good try. <laughs> um, next up. Frank the Just All Right. <gasps> yeah, Frank! Okay. <laughs> Frank, go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. As you come to this this space where it's just uh, pillars of, of wood that are, that are separated and you have to kind of hop from each one to the other. All right, I go sh- to Marcus and I'm like, do you have a handkerchief, Marcus? Can I go borrow? Well, uh, sure. <gasps> Thanks, and I write, go F. <laughs> nice. That looks strange on a flag. Go F. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 13, 14. Wait, you said Dex? Yes. 18. 18. You guys watch as Frank clatters over each one of these, but just nimbly and perfectly. <laughs> Frank, Whoa. you come to this thing. It looks like uh, in dog shows, the little, little pyramid they run up and down, yeah. mm-hmm. but it has little gaps in it, so you have to kind of jump over as you go up and then over as you go down. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make another dex check. Come on, baby. Gary needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> uh, 11. 11? Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it takes you some time to get over it, but you get over it successfully. Mm-hmm. Um... Then you come to this thing where uh, you have to climb with your hands oh, gosh. over it. Yeah. But just go ahead and make strength check, or not strength, the dex check as well. 14? 14? At that, hmm. you slip going over as your oh, hands are soggy oh, gosh, gosh. and you hit the water kind of that's, or you hit the soft padding that's underneath it and land down. Frank curses and everyone very loud. claps and you curse. I curse very loud. I'm like, don't clap at me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't the, win. The clapping oh. goes to a slow. <laughs> <laughs> Good try. Good try, Frank. Up next, Zara. Bye. Zara, same thing. These pillars. Okay. Make a dex check. Uh, 19. 19. You easily get over it. Go ahead and make a dex check for the uh, little pyramid thing. Ooh, five. A five. Homegirl With that, out. You on the way down trip and stumble down into some of the padding. Boop, 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 boop. And it's ah uh, ah. Uh, is there the like crap. an instant replay option to see me like have a bad fall? No. Like okay, okay. <laughs> they don't get to rewatch it. Okay, they great, just great, watch great. it once and it's so it's not like it's a difficult thing. So it's not like, like a wipeout moment that no, lives for infinite. No, 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 okay, no. great, great. Great. That live forever. Um, wait, yeah. are these dex checks or dex saves? Dex checks. Okay. And uh, so wait, do I get that? So, so I don't get to use my proficiency on this no. thing, right? Okay. It's just a flat, like you add your modifier. Okay. Um, and it's not and it's not acrobatics either. No. Okay. It's just dex. Unless you want to throw something fancy in it, in which case I'll I'll do that, but you can't mob it to get like more than just a dex check would get you. Does that make sense? 
So like, what would you add on just a dex check? On a dex check, I would add three, but on an acrobatics check, I would add plus five because I'm proficient right. in acrobatics. So what I would say is in this instance, mm -hmm. if you were gonna do that, you could add a plus like two to acrobatics to try and do something really fancy on something that's already very difficult. Does that make sense? Wait. No. Okay. No. <laughs> it's okay. So because, because, so like, I don't want you to be able to like spam the game and just be like, I'm gonna do acrobatics the whole way through because I get a better modifier for okay. it. Okay. It's just a dex check. So if you can add a plus three to do like just basic dex, uh -huh. like, which is what I'm having kind of everyone do. Uh -huh. Uh, then if you were like, ooh, I want to try and do a backflip off of one of these posts to get over it, mm. I might be like, okay, roll acrobatics, but add two instead of, like, the normal five that you would add to it. Okay. Does that make sense yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now nah, I gotcha. Sweet. Cool, cool, cool. If you want to get fancy, there has to be a penalty for it, not like... Got it. You get bonus for being crazy. Cool. Coolio. Um, so, up next is Rourke. Great. Uh... I will go. go on. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Yes. You just ding 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 over the over the top of things, super fast. Just boom boom boom. You even use a tail to push off on one of them and just keep going. Yeah. Uh, you have the uh, pyramid. Go ahead and roll again. Great. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. You just up over. Boom. Uh, you're now at the arm thing. Go ahead and make another dex check. Ten. A ten. Can I? I'm falling, if I'm falling at the end of this, right? Like if, if I'm at the pyramid thing, am, am I gonna fall if I'm failing? Am I falling into water, like Ninja Warrior? Going over the arm thing? Yeah. Cause that's where you're at. Uh, you're starting to. Great, the if, I'm, if I'm starting to fall, I want to whip out one of my um, scimitars and try to hook it over and flip back around. Like with a deck save. Um. If I can, to try to recover from that. You can make a flat roll. A flat roll? Don't add anything. <sighs> I mean, it's worth a shot. It's okay. Flat roll, 10. 10, you pull out a sword as you're pulling it. it you just It's all up in here and you just ah. hit the pattern. Ah. Um, uh, up next is Old Man Abernathy. Okay, <laughs> here I go. He gets to the, uh, the pedestals. And he really gingerly makes his way over. He looks very drunk oh, when no. he, gets, he gets to the pyramid. He looks at the pyramid. He very gingerly and very slowly makes his way up the pyramid. Oh my god. And down the other side. Oh my god. He's now at the, the bars. <laughs> he grabs onto the bars. Here it goes! And just <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I plow just like plow, yeah, like, yeah. Slow you do. Plow, Proud like, of him. Um. Uh. Then uh, blah, 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 blah. Marcus's turn comes up. Marcus runs up to the start. All right, I'm gonna write go um, and he I'm a he bounces over the first one and gets to the pyramid. Woo. Uh, at the pyramid he actually runs up and trips at the top and falls down. Mm. Um. I look over at Frank and I'm like, too bad Tabitha just left. Frank, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Oh, you guys don't even know where I am. I could be in... I'm like in Crestport. Like, you guys are like, <laughs> like where did she go? Um, <laughs> so as Marcus kind of hits it, like uh, they all they all applaud for Marcus. And Marcus is like, ah, oh, I just took a bad step. Um, but they... Uh, the the person running the game comes up to you, Roy. Well, sir, you made it the farthest. Here you go. And he hands you 75 gold. Nice. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, sir. Frank is a little bitter. <laughs> you, you, you're welcome. I'm like a lemonade. With not enough sugar. <laughs> um... Uh, that concludes our events at the Obstacle Course. Thank you guys for coming out. It's been an honor, fantastic job. Woo. It was thrilling. <gasps> All right. Uh, mm. Look, guys, should we try to find Tabitha? I don't know where she went off to after that whole business with the arrow contest. I don't know. Do we still want to go to the arm wrestling thing? Yeah. Let's do that. She might want to arm wrestle somebody. Yeah, yeah. 
by angry arm wrestle. Yeah. Yeah, they might as well. So you guys are moving to the, uh, the arm wrestling? Yes. Mm-hmm. Area? Okay. Uh, you guys start heading that way. Uh, Marcus is like, oh, yeah, awesome. Uh, and he leads you to this big tent that's got several uh, picnic tables kind of set up in it. And uh, several people are already in there just warming up. You see uh, the blacksmith you guys met on the way to find the Fletcher. Mm-hmm. Um, that rather large girl that was sounded like George. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll call myself out on it. Uh, <laughs> you see her just kind of warming up her hammer arm. Um Marcus begins just instantly warming up. He seems down for all the games. Um, you see a you see a kind of a bedraggled looking dwarf uh, who's who's just really stocky in build, but is just getting in, and getting psyched out uh, in a little bit area. Um, uh, it's at this time uh, you see uh, Samuel walk up. Oh, what? Well, hey guys. There you are. Hey, you, uh, you, you kind of left me. Oh, we knew you'd find your way. We trusted you because we think you're great. Yeah, we were just still in the area. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks for bringing me back, though. I appreciate that the most. Well, absolutely. We yeah. had to make sure you got back safely. Well, good Good to be here. Hey, good, good enjoy is, the festivities. Yeah. Have a turkey leg. So I Russell. already ate one, but I also don't have any money, so I had oh, to get a friend to buy it for me, that's... and now I'm kind of screwed. Oh, that's just... How much is a turkey leg? It's like a piece of gold. I give him one gold. Thanks! Uh, and he runs up to the dude running arm wrestling. It's like, I'd like a place in arm wrestling. Ah. <laughs> You fucking... Rort, I just want to win more money so I can have more turkey legs. It's investment. Thanks, Frank. You know what? You do it, Samuel. I'd also like Thanks. to uh, p- take a part of this arm wrestling. Okay, uh, it is one gold piece to enter into the arm wrestling competition. That's one gold. Why the hell not? Heck yeah, yeah I'm, I'm in. doing that. What's the reward? Uh, you hear the guy running it. Well, the payout for this event is 25 gold pieces. Is Montgomery running everything? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> um, I look around for uh, Tabitha amongst the arm wrestlers. Can I make a perception check? Uh, 18. An 18? Don't yeah. see her. Okay. Um... So uh, the people that are there are kind of lined up. Uh, in a minute, you see uh, old man Abernathy nursing kind of a limp from the obstacle course. <laughs> mm, time to take place in the next event. Uh, you got this, Abernathy. Uh, and uh, the tables set up. So who else playing? Me. I'm doing it. I am. Frank, Rourke, and uh, Zara are playing. Um, you guys, they start setting up the table. Uh, the first round pits Frank against Zara. Okay, um, let's do this. Marcus and Samuel are going up against each other. Uh, the really large, uh, or the, the dwarf, the little stocky dwarf, uh-huh. is going up against old man Abernathy, <laughs> and it seems that the female blacksmith has a bye for this round. That makes sense. Hmm. I, yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so, for the first matchup, Frank and Zara, Here we go. you guys, you lock hands on the table, uh, and prep yourselves to go, and, uh, old man, or Montgomery, we'll just say Montgomery. Montgomery! Right? Montgomery. Montgomery grabs your hands and he's like, all right, are we ready? Mm-hmm. Bloody brilliant. Go! And he lets go of the hands, and you guys both instantly start pushing against each other. Oh! Twelve. Five. Frank, this this <laughs> oh, magical, this yay. arcane force shoves your arm really close and you're instantly taken aback. You're like, you don't have muscles. I'm just so um, confused. As your arm gets really close to the table, both of you guys make another check. Oh. oh. Thirteen. Um, seventeen. Zara, you, you, you bring it back to center. You bring it back to center. You guys are back at center again. Go ahead and make another strength check. Ten. Ooh. Frank, you push it back close down oh, to the table. Go ahead and make another one. There we go. 
<laughs> I got a 22. 22? Sorry, you bring it back to middle. Oh, Everyone's man. watching like, how is this happening? <laughs> this is much more intense than I thought it was going to be. One more? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 14. 17. 17. Zara, you you push Frank closer to the mat. Go ahead and make another one. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. 16. Oh, is that a nat one? It nat was. one. <laughs> with that, Frank, you just let out a... Messing with you the whole time. <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> As you jam it down. And the crowd's like... Oh, oh. He ain't got no bones. <laughs> He ain't got no muscles. He ain't got no muscles. He ain't got no bones. Um, He's all bones. Well, Frank, I really thought you were going to lose to a girl. Zara, you've um, been eliminated. Are you in front of us now? Wait, Timothy, were you here? Yeah, I've been here literally the whole time. Not surprised. Sounds about right. I'm not surprised at all. All right, who are we going next? Uh, Are you in? Are you doing it? Yeah, she's well, no, I already lost once. I don't like losing. I'm not going to do it again. All right. I'm the, the queen of losing over here. The next match is Marcus versus Samuel. Um, They lock hands, and Samuel's like, <laughs> boom, just it's over. Marcus <laughs> destroys him. Uh, and Samuel's like, <laughs> yeah. Reminded me of twins. Um, and oh, kind of walks off. Yeah. Um. The next is Abernathy versus the dwarf. The dwarf's like, all right, I'm going to take you down, old man. And they, they lock arms. Does Abernathy, Abernathy retort? Re- Abernathy, you bet your sweet ass Abernathy <laughs> retorts. He's like, I'm not old and I'm not a man and you're not a dwarf. <laughs> uh, they both go. Uh, they just like lock in the middle. And then you start to see Abernathy bending his arm back. <laughs> And Abernathy's starting to push him closer yes, to the mat. Yes, yes, yes. Do it, Abernathy. Abernathy puts him even closer to the mat. The dwarf's arms right at the edge of the table. I, I yank Zara's uh, handkerchief and the coal and write an A on it and start waving it around. Abernathy. <laughs> over. Ah, nice. Yes, Abernathy. How's that for old man, bitch? <laughs> he walks you tell him, Abernathy. Um, and then is it, it is you versus, wait, no. Sorry, Rourke versus the blacksmith woman. All right. Ooh. As she uh, walks up, she just kind of lumbers up. They call me Hildy the Bear. And she puts her arm on the table. Oh, you're so going to lose. I wink at Hildy. You do. Good to meet you. <laughs> well, see you again. Um, you guys lock hands. Uh, and ready? Oh, yeah. All right. And he lets go of it. <laughs> Uh, 16. Hildy takes your arm and crumples it into the table with a natural 20. Oh! Boom! As the table splinters. Um. Told you. Oh my god. Your arm is like... (laughs) Sorry, I don't lose. You know, I had a feeling. Great job, though. And she walks over. Um, and just start stretching it out. She also might be a man. I don't know yet. Um, <laughs> sorry, no. Just that voice is like not. It's just George. Um, anywho. Uh, so, all right. For the next round, we have Frank versus Abernathy oh. and Marcus versus the bear. And everyone's like, yeah. yeah. Frank's no, up F, against no, uh, Abernathy. Are you ready, skin and bones? <laughs> you look Are skin. you ready, old man? Fuck you! Fuck you! Let's do <laughs> this! You. Like your spirit, old man! You guys lock arms. <laughs> right, Go ahead and roll. Fuck. What'd you roll? A four. A four? Oh. You start pushing Abernathy's arm down towards oh. the table. Oh. Uh, Go ahead and roll again. Sixteen. Abernathy just pushes you right back. Just so. Come on, Frank. Come on. Go after. Go after. Go after. 12. 12. You push Abernathy back down towards the table. Right. You got him, Frank. Six. Pushes you back up to the middle. Maybe you don't got him, Frank. Uh, 13. 
He pushes you towards the map. Oh, come on, just get him down. Oh, uh, 20. Un- unnatural. Unnatural 20. You push him back to the middle. You guys are just locked come in this duel. Oh, oh, come 19. on, Frank. 19. You push yes, him yes, close yes, to the yes, map. One more, one more. That's our skeleton. Looking, come he's on. He's looking tired. Four. <laughs> he yanks no! him all the way back no! over, but not to the map. Not come on, to the map. Come on, come on, come on. 11. 11? <laughs> Oh, oh, holy shit, Abernathy! Who's an old man? Are you fucking? He seems like he's jacked up on <laughs> adrenaline and much too much to drink. I look at Tabitha and I'm like, come on, this is fun, right? Um, next is Marcus versus uh, uh, Hildy. Um, Marcus actually puts her instantly, like, out of the second one, puts her close to the mat. Oh! Um, but Hildy brings him back to center. Uh, and then she just starts the assault, pushing him down. Oh, man. And just finishes the job. Mm, There's right. the bear. Marcus. <sighs> yeah. How about another game for that arrow? What were you thinking? I choose someone, and you choose someone, and they are wrestle. Nice and easy. Um, what do I get if I win? An arrow of the same kind. Really? Damn it, Tabitha! Shoot. You. Oh, uh, I go over to Tabitha and I <laughs> put my hands around her neck and I start squeezing. I feel oh like God. Okay, uh, go ahead and make a deck saving throw and just make a uh, strength check. Oh my God! Uh, seven. Eighteen. Some 18. She gets her arms in <laughs> enough that you're not like choking her, but his hands are still there. Can I try to throw her on the Frank, ground? Frank, Frank, just hear me out. Uh, make a, 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 are you hearing her out or are you just doing it? I'm not hearing her out. <laughs> are you kidding me? There's no go, way. Go ahead and make a uh, do like, uh, strength check. Uh, 14. Go ahead and make a strength check. Mm. Oh, six. Mm. Uh, you throw her to the ground and are now on top of her. Mm-hmm. And the crowd is like, oh, as this, like as they back up instantly to this event that's happening. I yank up my arm and hit her head with it. Oh, wow. Oh. Um, that's, <laughs> that's uh, 23. 23? Oh, my god! Go ahead and roll a D8 of damage. I say, whoa, whoa, Frank, what, what, what? It's too late, man. <laughs> she knew what she was going in for. That's, uh... Do I add anything to that, or is that just a three? Do you add your uh, strength modifier to it? A four. Four? Oh Definitely take gosh. four damage. I, I, like, start pulling her I'm like, you don't even know that she actually has it or if she's just bullshitting, man. <laughs> is he pulling Is he pulling you off, or are you letting him pull you off? No. Make a strength check, or make a strength check. Uh, it's four. Four, uh, 14. 14? I kind of move around the crowd, I'm like, don't worry, Mark guys, this happens all the time. Off of Tabitha. <laughs> Wait, how is he holding me? He's got really How are you dead. holding me? Around the ribs. Around the torso. Um, yeah, I learned my lesson after you yeah. pulled your arm off in the centipede. Um, I try to hit Rorik with my hand, like throwing my other arm back. <laughs> Roll a hit. And I keep an eye on Tabitha, though, because I'm still, he's holding me from the back, right? It's okay, yeah. So she's right there. But Tabitha can move now. Yeah, I know. Um, That's, uh, let's see, 13? Will not hit. Uh, okay. 13 will not hit. Okay. Uh, Tabitha, go ahead and make a slide of hand check. Since this is happening and it's happening, don't worry about texting me. Just let's do it. Okay. <laughs> um, a 14 for slide of hand. Uh, or not slide of hand. I'm just, staring sorry, right at her. Yeah, just roll a strength check. Yeah, I'm staring right at her face. Or actually a dex check. Frank, you can give me a sec. 14. Okay, Frank, roll a strength check. Well, not one. <laughs> Tabitha actually grabs your arm out of your <laughs> other arm and now has your arm. I lift my leg and kick her in the stomach. I can't roll a hit. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god! She's getting so um, violent! Yes. 17. I thought you were trying to hit, to hit yeah. you. Can roll a d4 of damage. Oh my gosh. That's Plus two. your strength. Uh, three. And Tabitha, you take three points of damage as Frank just hauls off and kicks you in the stomach. <laughs> So, uh, I'm gonna take like to the do? arrow and shove it in him. Oh! I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get out of the way. Roll to hit Frank. Sheesh. Does Rorik react to that? In yes. Way? I am gonna move him out of the way of it. Okay. It oh, hit. it won't hit. You are behind him. Yeah. What? Uh, what would it you was roll? A, technically a nine. 12. A nine. 
with that and Frank trying to get out of the way, the arrow comes out and just uh, misses uh, okay. Frank. I okay, see, okay, I okay. You, you, too far, too far. <laughs> you know what that does. I try to Come grab on. Tabitha and, and pull her off. Go ahead and make a strength check, I'm Tabitha, like, I'm, if you want to let her. I'm you moving in Rourke's you... arms like a rabid dog. I'm like. <laughs> Are you trying like, to break mm-hmm. the grapple? Yeah. Would you go ahead and make a strength 16. check, Rourke. She has me. 16. Okay, uh, you pull Tabitha I back. I go too far, too far. Four. A four. You, like the you, reverse of last time. Live you, in the present. Uh, the you run, moving around just like uh, Rourke. You're just getting like more and more moist, and it's like harder to hold on to it. Uh, <laughs> and he just like yeah. slips through. And uh, I and I do like that boxing thing where they're kind of like I'm kind of like walking on along the side. I'm kind of staring Tabitha right in the eye, and I was like, "You knew what would happen if you did this again, Frank, Tabitha." Why do you want this so bad? Why do you? I don't. This isn't a question anymore. It's a principle at this point, and you know that you're in the wrong. And I don't know why you're you just assume. mad because I beat you and got the arrow. You beat me. This is all it's ever you been. You beat me, and I just a- throw. I just throw my arm at her face. You, wait, you don't have your arm currently. I don't. Yeah, okay. she took I it. it. Oh, um, I yank off my leg then. <laughs> So uh, you yank off your leg and throw it as you're falling over? Yeah. Well, I can balance on one leg, right? Um, or at least try. <laughs> you can try in a second. Um, this is so funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> Joe, give me a hug. Oh, my right, no, we're, we're, okay. Marcus, I'm sorry. You have to see this, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, I look at Marcus and I say, yeah, they just been needing to work this out for a while. <laughs> they, they've been... This has been an ongoing thing. This has been thing. stewing for a long time. <laughs> this is right. it. So you, uh, you, you rip off your leg and go to hit her with your leg. Roll throw it, hit. Throw it at her. I don't know if I'm, am I close enough to hit you, her with it? You, you can throw it at her if you want well, to. If I'm close enough to hit her, I would like to hit her with the leg. Okay, so you're going to roll with disadvantage either way because okay. you're trying to stand on one leg while I have a, after ripping <laughs> off your leg to yeah. hit her with it. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll with disadvantage. That's a nine, and then a nine. Whoa! So oh, wow. what's your what do you add to that? Yeah, your are strength you, and proficiency. Are you proficient with just limbs in general, or just the arm? Um, I just say it's all the same thing. Okay, so that's nine, ten, and twelve. Twelve to hit? Nope. Doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, so as you swing down, go ahead and make a dex save. Okay. Yeah, can I take his leg? Dex save: sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Uh, you're able to kind of bounce on the one. <laughs> Okay. Can I try to grab his leg? You have one in one hand. How I are you holding her? I'm her. holding her. Um, I, I, I imagine that I pulled her up right from the elbows. Like, so I still like, have my arms free. Okay, go, go ahead and make a, a, but like, a, I'm holding her back. a dex check. And Frank, make a strength saving throw to hold onto your leg. <laughs> what do we count now? <laughs> do we count that one? 23. Um, what am I doing, dex? Strength. Strength, that's a... 16. It takes your your leg with the other <laughs> arm. And you're now currently Monty Pythoning I, with I, like I, your I, right I, arm and I assume your left leg. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um I take a rib out. <laughs> oh my and I, god. And I throw like a boomerang at her. You do. Go ahead and roll the hit with disadvantage. <laughs> and then make a deck save. That's a three. Oh. And then a uh Dex save is 12, 13, 14, 15. Sweet. You are able to, you manage to stay on your leg. You throw the rib bone. Oh the complete, like, not even really close to her. You just hear a, ha! as Samuel hits the ground. Um, I, I say, will somebody pick that up, please? Frank, Frank hear I jump me up out. and I grab my, my leg if I can. Frank. You're still standing. I you know. only have one I leg. I know. I know. I try to jump up and then grab it. If that doesn't work, that's fine. Frank, Go ahead and make uh, an acrobatics arrows. check. An acrobatics check, cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Frank, we can have two arrows. I'm not even, I'm not listening to you. <laughs> Nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve. Can you, okay, Zara, so, right, can yeah. you let me go? You I'm jump not up, hit dislocate no. the leg, and plummet to the ground at the same time. Uh, You're now kind of like clumped right, on the ground. I'm gonna, like, still holding the leg. Yeah, you've got a piece of it. Throw it at her. <laughs> you can roll it with this advantage. I'm going to try to elbow Zara to get. Free. That's a nat 20 and a nat 20 a and eight. Nine. Uh. uh do, are you just trying to break the grapple? Yeah, I'm just trying to it's get strength off. Strength check, strength okay. check. Uh, twelve for me. She beat it. Okay, you you elbow and get Fuck out. Fuck off. <laughs> um, Frank throws his leg at you and misses. <laughs> uh, what are you wanting to do? I pull off my pelvis. <laughs> okay, pause. <laughs> I start I start taking bets in the audience <laughs> as to what. What? Who's gonna win? Okay, so go ahead and make a performance check just to see if anybody will pay attention to you and not watch this. All right. 
All right, everybody, we're taking breaks. Right, I'm not going to hurt you again. I know you're trying to hurt me, but I will probably knock 18. you out if An I 18? try. You get a few people like, Hey, I'll, I'll put a, I'll put a gold on, uh, I'll put a gold on the skeleton. I'll put a gold on the gold. Right, if I, I get I, both I, the I, arrows, I the you can have okay. one, and I can have the other, and then we'll be done with it. It's principal at this point. I'm gonna slap him with his own hand. <laughs> okay, roll a hit. So quiet. <laughs> oh, what is it? It's on the corner. It's on the corner. It's on the corner. It looks like a nat twenty. But it, looks like a nat but it 20. was on the corner. It was so close. Oh come on. Twelve. It's not gonna is hit. That it? Uh, no. What's your armor cost? 13. I'm trying 13. again. You you swing at him. Frank, what would you like to do? <laughs> Pull off my wait, pelvis. You're how much of, how yourself, much of your body is left now? He has no legs. He's at his pelvis. And one arm? Yeah. And one no arm. Legs, and one arm. Function. I'm going to yank off my pelvis. And throw it at her? And no, I'm not. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to try to beat her with it. Just like... Roll a hit at disadvantage. Since you're currently not... You don't have legs. Well, he's prone, uh, technically, I guess. Yeah. It's four. <laughs> a four? You are just missing. Her. Okay, that is a natural 20 yeah, to yeah, slap him 20. with his own hand. Oh Go ahead gosh. and roll uh, a d8 of damage. Add strength and... Uh, strength or da- You strength. just add the strength modifier. Seven. Uh, so seven... Uh, did, is that after you added the strength? So mm-hmm. it's six? Yeah, six and then seven. So that's 13 Twelve. points of damage. 13 points of damage? Frank. I, I'm Four. officially grabbing a pint and watching this now. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Um, I don't know how this is going to end, honestly. Frank, you're up. What, what would you like to do? Um, <laughs> we kind of organically found initiative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, geez. Frank, so I Frank, don't want to hurt you. right across the head with your own arm, and it's like... I just uh, know these could help us in the long run. Help us in the long run? How do you mean, Tabitha? Frank, I will literally do anything you want after this point. Oh, Ooh. do you have 200 gold to pay me with for I that? will steal it for you and steal give it to it. you. That's not an honest way to make a living, Tabitha. Like you're an honest person, That's Frank. That's not an honest way to make a living. <laughs> I try to hit her again with my pinus <laughs> bone. Okay, uh, roll hit with disadvantage. Oh, fuck. I'm wrong with the nasty rolls. That's five. That's six. Oh, uh, six. Man. Do not hit her. I'm going to slap him again. Slap him with his arm. Go ahead and roll a hit. It's not hit. No. Fourteen? Uh, as you swing his own arm, it, like, Wait, no, no, it does hit. The it does 14. hit? Yeah. You catch him. Wait, do you, are you proficient with his arm? Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know I have like six. Add Twelve. Six. Six. Twelve. Yeah, Sorry, it does no. not hit. Uh, you, as you swing, it like curls away from hitting himself. Oh, it's that's like, funny. Ew. Um... <laughs> I, th- I throw the pelvis bone at her Good. at this point. <laughs> throw it hit her with disadvantage. <laughs> Man, I've rolled like five fives in a row. That's six again. I'm not gonna a hit. A six, you launch the pelvis bone into the audience. You hear another like, go! <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> uh, Was it Samuel again? Uh, you, you don't know. This crowd has become massive at this point. <laughs> I, I'm, still, I'm still taking the money. Okay. Is, someone, is one of you picking my bones up? Or is just letting it go? <laughs> I mean, I was going to try no to get No one has them all. yet. Okay, okay. Um, Tabitha, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Frank. I don't know where this anger is coming from. Oh, oh, oh. Well, where no, are gonna, can you come from? I know we're friends. I don't know why Give me back my arrow. Give me back my arrow. It's going to help us. Give me back my arrow. No. Give, well, then, and then I take off, I take my head. <laughs> oh, my God. I take my head off. And I try to thrust it into her face. Just try to hit her with my own head. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll a hit with disadvantage. <laughs> As you're Damn not, re- you're not. Damn it! That's a three. Oh. You're not used to using your body in this fashion. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, uh you rip your head off and thrust I'm it at her. I'm gonna take it. So you're letting go of one no, of his I'm limbs. No, I'm gonna put his leg under my armpit and take his head. Are you also holding my? Arm? I have your arm and your leg. It's true. Okay. Uh, uh, go ahead and make a a, a dex versus a, a strength because you're just trying to like grab it really quick and Frank, you're just kind of. Two. Both got two. So that'll be a six for me. Uh, what I'm going to do is strength? Or, yeah. Yeah, that's three. You grab Frank's head <laughs> from his body. Oh, what his are you body's do currently now? like on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Doing stuff with one just arm. the one arm. Just yes. flailing. Well, it seems that you've won this round, Tabitha. Are you done? Not that the whole crowd's... Yeah! <laughs> Are you done? Are you done? Well, what did I just say, Tabitha? Just take a win. Right, Jesus. I'm just going to hold it. Marcus, Abernathy versus Hildy for your arrow. You have Abernathy? Yeah, I get Abernathy. And I get Hildy. Yeah. Are you all from over to the side? That sounds fair. 
Okay. All right. Sure. Frankus has just seen. I still like, have it. It's like vibrating in your hand. I yell, will somebody collect the bones of this fine gentleman? I do. <laughs> Zara, you go about. Go ahead and make an investigation check. Oh, gosh. Um. Oh, gosh. She can't find them. 13. You find everything that was thrown, including a rib bone that is currently, like, still a, a little bit. It dented Samuel some. <laughs> <laughs> but we brought him back. Um. He's fine. Uh, everyone's like. So we're doing the arm wrestling thing now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. All right, everybody's paid I, out. I guess. How, how much can I keep from that, from the payout of the bets? Uh, I'll say you can keep 10 gold from that. I'll take that. Um, Tabitha, give me back my arrow. Tabitha, give me back my arrow. <laughs> it's just gonna... Tabitha, give me back my arrow. <laughs> um, the, Tabitha, the, give me back my arrow. I'm just saying it over and over again. <laughs> yeah, no. The arm wrestling uh, starts to commence in both <laughs> both Hildy and Abernathy. Like Hil- Abernathy is just already sitting at the table. He's been sitting there the whole time, just like <laughs> ready. I'm ready to play. All right, I'm playing. Abernathy. It. Hildy just kind of makes her way over there and grabs Abernathy, his hand. Abernathy, if you win, Zara will totally have sex with you. Why do you keep? Okay. <laughs> All righty, that's some incentive. Uh... And they, they, they begin. God, it's so Tap about to give me back my arrow. I break his jaw. Oh. Well, you can just detach it. Yeah, you I'm going to detach his jaw. Yeah. You, you detach it. Uh, <laughs> there's no tongue. You now are confounded by how does Frank actually talk? Tap about to give me back my arrow. He's still making noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tabitha. Tabitha, give me back my arrow. <laughs> Give me back my arrow. The first, the, they begin, they begin the arm wrestling, and it goes nowhere. As oh these my two God. people oh, are just locked. This, in this clash of the titans. Um, Tabitha, give me back my arrow. <laughs> Abernathy's arm begins to give way. No. no. Oh, and Tabitha, give me back my arrow. Oh man. <clears throat> Abernathy's arm gets a Come little on, bit. Come on, Abernathy. Tabitha, give me back my arrow. A really good sex time. <laughs> oh. As Hildy just puts his arm into the table. Tabitha, You're a strong lady and I like your gumption. And he just gets up and walks away. Tabitha, give me back my arrow. I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus walks up to you. Frank, give him some money instead. Are you? No, I'm can't I have to give him your give arrow. Give me back my arrow. So Marcus, what if we pay you instead? Mm. Instead of give me that arrow? Yeah. Sure. All right, Frank, give him some money. What? Isn't this arrow worth I'm like sorry, a thousand Mark. gold? No, I'm not your sugar daddy. You can figure this out on your own. I already paid for your bow. All right, I'm just going to shoot Marcus with an arrow and run out of town. Tabitha, that give me back my arrow. Is that what's happening right <laughs> now? I don't know what to do. Is that what's happening? You could work to pay off your debt. You could do other things besides killing kill Marcus. Man. Marcus, what do you want most in life? Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, other than you not shooting me in the face. Um, because I imagine you like drew your bow. Yeah. <laughs> Time about that. Give me back my arm. Uh, okay, I, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> I really just want to grow my family business. Uh... Tabitha, how what much if... money do you have? Six gold. Oh hmm. my god. I thought you were a thief. <laughs> I didn't steal any. I'm a bad thief at I'm, it. It's not a thief at all. I'm actually an assassin. Oh, I don't care. So, there's a difference. Somebody get my arrow from this woman. <laughs> <laughs> what if we grow your business for you? Like, what? By making oh, referrals? Okay. Yeah, by referrals. advertising? Yeah. Uh, I have a lot how of... How would that work? I have a lot of assassin friends <laughs> oh, that I can send your way no. for weapons. Well, you've got your you've got your logo, the target, the yield target yeah. logo on your stuff, right? Yeah. No. Wait, if she's drawn, where's my head? No, I'm not drawn. I don't hey, I give you back the bones that, that I had, Frank. Okay. I think it was a joke. 
Um, because had we drawn a bow in the, the center of town, there would have been some serious repercussions. They're, they're all like thieves and shit. Um, it could have gone bad. Um, there are guards in this town. You met one on the way in, yeah. so like it, it could have gone south real quick. Um, Hit it over the head. I'm not hitting anything over the head. Uh, so, uh, it, 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 how, is, how are you? What? Referrals, right? Okay. Well, you you don't have any. Uh, I'm trying to work this out for you here. You don't you don't have your emblem or, or uh, logo branding on any of your stuff currently, right? But what if we got some of your equipment, like this air, like the bow that she has currently, uh, my hand crossbow? We can get a couple of other things. We'll use those as we go about. You you can. Um, embellish them with your logo and we can make sure if anybody asks us about these fine we, weapons because we this is a you. this is a good ass looking hand crossbow well, right thank here you. I, and I like, love this bow we'll send them to you we will make referrals frequently how about this that and 10 gold I will give I him 6 and you can fair. give him 4 done how much would it take to get the other arrow I like think he told you room? yeah Oh my god. I, think, I believe I said a thousand gold. What if yeah, I, I think, I oh, think we're past that. Hold on, hold on. That. If we use oh, that. Oh wait, he has the arrow? He has yeah, his he has arrow. His. I am so fucking confused. Okay. So he has I, his I arrow. She still he has had his. his. Oh, I thought she still had the she good has, one. I have yours. yours. I have mine. Yeah. Tabitha, give me back my arrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What if, this, what if you lend me the arrow again? And every, I'm assuming we'll probably go on more quests and adventures <laughs> and things. Oh my gosh. And if we acquire gold, we'll give you half. Half? half. You'll I give am not him giving. Half. Yeah, I'll give You'll you half. You'll give him whole. I'll give you all the gold <laughs> I get. Since, like on a rent to own kind of situation. Yeah. Since your your group said that you were planning on never coming back to me or giving me this again. Well, not the group. She, just well, her. wait. No, they she were wanted just... to kill you. To be honest. Right. We can keep the offer open in the future. I'm going to keep my family's heirloom. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I think uh-huh. I think that's where that conversation's going to That sounds like a reasonable uh-huh. deal. And the, and the debt is paid with the advertising. Now, just Tabitha, you need to give me back my arrow now. Are we all happy here? No, I'm not happy. <laughs> I want my arrow back, Tabitha. Well, Marcus, as far I, as, I as, far as, as, far as Marcus whole... is concerned, we're all happy. Oh, yeah. thank you. I apologize. I, I mean, coming from someone who's awkward, these social graces are not the best. Tell so you I what. apologize. Okay. Marcus, we can, and I take the bow from Oh, I Tabitha. immediately take it back. I, I bought this. I immediately you will, take it back. If you will engrave these, we will pick them up in the morning. Oh, all right. For the advertisement deal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you hold on to them for right now, okay. and then at the end of the night you can hand them to me and I'll, I'll take care of it. That great. sounds great. But why? What? Okay. Nothing. <laughs> Good. Great. <laughs> but we got, we're, all, we're all square here, except no, for Frank and his arrow, me. which we will deal with I as I look sternly back. at Tabitha. We'll deal with that on our own time. But for now it's a festival, right? As I like, yeah. As I and I yell oh, that like yeah. out to the crowd around. Make a make a performance check. Uh, that is a twenty-one. Yeah, they all just like celebrate and like this big like it's a festival. Frank, what? <laughs> what could you possibly want from me? I Tabitha? gave him his head back. You put his head back on his body that's still been down I there give like him this. Wait, I died. Didn't you reassemble it? I did. I, I, I gave him Oh, back sweet. The... Awesome. His body's just been like... Me? I give him his, his body's legs. around <laughs> without a head. Just been standing there. I give him his leg and I give him his arm. I just thought maybe I could get both the arrows and then we could have Man, it for whatever we find. The trouble we get when you start thinking. <laughs> you know what, Frank? <laughs> I think you're right. Give me back my arrow. I give him the arrow. I think you guys would just be better off without me then. And, and I, I go I over leave. to Marcus. How much do you what want are you this leaving to? I'm just leaving. <laughs> well, I go leaving after town. her. Leaving town. I'm going, going to the woods. Okay. Look. 
Tabitha. You're just leaving because you couldn't steal what you wanted? Like, is that really the only reason you have for this? Really? I mean, I don't know what you have in any of this other than money. And we're not even getting money. We're going to get money. Right. Look. So you think. I think you and Frank just need to work your stuff out separately. You did. He found. Technically. Technically, he found it. You tried to steal it. We can work it out later. He'll probably at some point, if it really comes down to it, give it to you to use. Maybe he'll loan it to you. But at this point, is it really worth? Is it really worth? I'm just still all going. of this. Really. Okay. Where are you going to? I'm going to the woods to tell Cedron we finished the job. So you're just heading out of town. Yeah. Okay, that's the way you're walking. Rourke is with you the whole way, talking to you right now. All right. If you want to just keep walking, then go ahead. I'm just saying you don't have to do this if you don't get your way. It's not about not getting my way. It's just we'll never work as a group now because Frank won't, won't trust me. Granted, it's it, he shouldn't. Well, I won't argue that he shouldn't. <laughs> That's on you. You know what? Do whatever you want. And I'll walk back to the festival. Okay. Tabitha, where are you going? Just going. Okay. That's where we'll end. Aww. How's it going, wonderful, beautiful people that support us? Thanks for listening to The Quest Company. If you enjoy our podcast, please be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, or whatever form of media floats your boat. Uh, Please, it is a huge help to us for more ways than one morale. Uh, If you'd like to contact us, you can check out our Connect page on our website, questcompanypodcast.com. Uh, which is a form for contacting us directly, as well as links to our various social media accounts. Please, if you have questions for all the rules that I break, just contact me directly on Twitter. Let's start a conversation. While you're there, be sure to check out our official artwork done by Dakota Collins. You can find more of his artwork on Instagram, at Alchemical Dragon, or you can check out his website, datcollins.wordpress.com. Uh, we've had some awesome new artwork done in the last couple weeks by Maddie and Max. You can see their art as well as all the other art on our website with links to those various accounts. Uh, it's really cool art and we're extremely thankful to you guys for everything that you do. If you have fan art uh, of the podcast and would like to share it because it means the world to us, just tag us in the Instagram posts or posts or tweets with at the quest company or hashtag the quest company. Uh, We love seeing your art and sharing it with the rest of our listeners. Again, thank you guys so much for listening. And be sure to join us next week for another episode of The Quest Company.